Hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Minecraft Techno Buffalo server. And I told you guys it's going to be quite a while to the next episode because of how long it takes to build a new base from scratch with collecting materials. So it's been about, I think, two or three months since my last video. And the 1.3 map is no longer up. So just been working on this one. And hopefully you guys like what I've decided to do this season. So this season, I've decided to build a iron golem farm with docm 77s design um, it's tweaked for my own purposes so that we have even numbers instead of his has a 4x4 this is a 9x9 nine by nine, or not 9x9 nine nine, 3x3 three three, which makes 9 and just has some hoppers below to collect and I've been wearing this because they're hard to get and then I just got some golden chest plates from the nether but basic redstone I don't think you guys need to know how to do that and Set of chests. These are empty, but my side ones are filled with what I've been collecting. Here's my iron, and then all my flowers that I wish I could give away if someone wants lots and lots of roses. So this season I've been teaming up with Daisuke and Tally. I was with Tally last season, and I'm with him again. Also, we have Daisuke, and he is an amazing builder, and I'm glad to have him with me this this season. And He's been doing quite a bit to help me. Right there, he built that. This inside. Uh, I did a nice floor design. He did that right there. I built the main area. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, we're working on this right now. I think that's our finished design, but I'm not sure yet. He's helped kind of copy it. We've been just hiding the redstone. I like using the blocks instead of torches just because it looks better. Even though they're going to be hidden, I think it's better than torches because you, you can break a block next to the torch and break the torch off that you can break something else near it it won't hurt it at all so that's that um we have a big map of everything kind of if the ground wasn't all mixed in with it but it kind of looks like a pretzel colored or not pretzel color pretzel shape I'll show you guys a little bit but this is my main storage right now i used to have it down below but we decided to take it out we're going to fill it with water hopefully or something like that and make it look really cool below so you have a nice contrasting color for everything above. It's grayish and dark. And let's see, yeah. We have a nice big column in the center, which connects to all of these sides. These are the longest, and then these are a little bit narrower because of this right here. I wish I would have built these further out, but I just did what Dockham's design said to do. So I just did that, and then we just changed up the colors to match what we wanted to do. But that's just a little lookout circle. That's not for building or anything. Just a basic, like, I think it's a set, yeah, seven, two, one thing. It's really easy. There's also like a six, two, or a five, two, and then you just add some different, yeah, it's not very hard. I've kind of memorized lots of the smaller circles just because I've made them so many times. But here's a nice column in the center. Try to give it some uh, depth, putting in stairs, adding. All this extra stuff to it, leaving some gaps like that. I think it looks nice. Have a little mushroom farm. We have <laughs> we bred tons of them, but try to keep it low so we don't have too much lag. Over here, just some basic farms not really being used right now. We need to move them up above. And then yeah, here's our little um, stairs on the side. It's supposed to be kind of hanging ish. It looks like it's swaying down, and this is holding it up in the center. But that's basically it right now because I haven't really we've only been working on it for maybe a month or two because the first month is basically getting all of our stuff that we needed. Um, down there we have a little zombie farm where we used to get all the villagers for all of this. Took well that took two maybe three months to get that. I just finished that recently getting all the villagers in. It took quite a while. Have a nice little tree farm over there. But our Mushroom Island isn't too big, but it is like 70,000 blocks away from spawn. So I won't be getting any villagers. That is why all my chests are not locked. Because I'm not worried about people coming here that I don't want here and getting into my stuff. And it's easier since there's three of us. We don't need to lock every chest with all of our names. And in case we want to break one, we can't do it unless the owner breaks it. So it's just easier this way. So I guess I'll, head, I'll go up above. And show you guys what I've been working on up here. All this is me. 
Asugi's helped me down here, but right now I did all that by myself in about one day. But this is going to be our farm because there's a lot less lag in the sky. I can get about 300 FPS down there, and I think about four or five up here. So that helps a lot. And use the same design as I did in the last thing. Nice cool corner design with water below. And then this right here, kind of got from Arcus. He uses lots of tall arches like this, and I've been watching this season, and it just looks really cool. So, tall arch, one a little bit smaller behind it, and then matching in the back. Except that I brought the wall out from that one right there, and so on the other side it's just blank. So this just is, these two match, and then there's a little walkway right here, which I'm thinking about either going below or going above, just to have another layer somewhere. Looks like I need to go fix grief a little bit. Um, yeah, this is about it. That way is gonna be a farm. It's like all the sides and stuff. And there's my pretzel shaped base <laughs> for now. Hopefully, I'll have a lot more done next time you guys see it. But I'm gonna go fix this grief, and I'll be back with you guys at spawn. And we are now at spawn, guys. Had to fix a quick grief, but got that fixed now. And now we're at spawn. Uh, here's the big Techno Buffalo logo, like you've seen in pretty much every map. Except it's not cobble like it was in the first couple maps. They haven't made it cobble. Looks a lot better now, but yeah. Um, have the basic boards, have the admin board, but there's no admin on. We had a problem with the spawn area. All got deleted. We had to rebuild everything but a little spot over there. I'll show you guys in a little bit. But here are the current moderators. In case you guys are watching this way in the future and... Someone changed my name, so it's too case K. Um, these are all the current ones. We have Agility, Tech Lover, which is an old mod that's back again. We have me, Most Days, Techno, and Sparky. And recently, Tin, Tin Man has been promoted to a SMOD, and TGP is no longer a SMOD. So yeah, these are the current SMODs, all these guys. Admins have stayed the same. <laughs> They've they pretty much never changed. Uh, Potty is, I think, the newest one. But we did have a really, really cool spot over here. I built a lot of steampunk houses and we had a castle going, but it all got deleted because of some map corruption or something. There's Daisuke. He's building some something new. You guys might see that, what we're going to do. But yeah, we're starting on something new for the base. Hope it's going to look cool. That's not loading for some reason. Uh, we'll just go uh, go somewhere else. Just wondering what that was for a second. Um, but the original part of this map, we had this special biome creator, but there was just too many ores, and it was just too overpowering of a map. You didn't have to try to try to get anything. If you needed diamond, you could just go somewhere and get a double chest full of diamond easily. So. We decided to ditch that map and we copied the spawn and tried to bring it to here, but then that area got corrupted. So we had to redo it. But over here is still back normal. And over here, in case you guys don't know, that play, click that button. And this used to open, or one of these used to open, and uh, Kafer made a little smod hangout thing that has her food or something. I don't know, it's weird, but I build this area. That should be loading in. On. has no problem when I'm not recording but for some reason when I record it decides it doesn't want to show it but yeah there it is I built all of this these cool modern trees a nice modern design nice and bright nice and inviting when people walk over here um this area is mainly just for looks besides the train station it's actually kind of functional but yeah just put who it's built by right there I like to do that on all my stuff but these arches the TV logo all of this stuff over here was built by me and same as this big space needle it's a nice lookout spot that i wanted to make really really repetitive took a long time even on creative to build i built this center section last i knew that i knew that size i wanted it to be so i started with these outer posts first and built them up the top i'm thinking about adding those to my base also once i get the top part done but here it is up here. It takes me about a minute or two to climb. Uh, it takes, takes a lot less time flying. But here it is. It's a nice, nice overlook. We have the train station, the stadium, big garden area with some random stuff inside, a maze, 
Uh, right there's a pond, soccer field, just random stuff over there. And then, yeah, just more random building stuff that we wanted to do. Ooh, okay, someone died. And this is always fun, just jumping down. I used to have water down here, but I decided to just change it to that so people had to go grab back onto that when they wanted to land. Here's a little closer up look of everything. Um, it's a little maze, find the pumpkins, there's one hidden down there. Just help you guys out if you're watching this video. And then parking garage, TV offices like you've had in every single map, for most of them anyway. Lighthouses up there, it would load in. I don't know why it's not, I'm getting pretty good FPS, but I have 14 gigs of RAM, so I don't know what's wrong with it. Me recording it just doesn't like doing it. But yeah, there it is up there. Just a basic design, nothing too fancy. Uh, down here is a library, right there. And then here's the train station. Um, yeah, lots and lots of people are building with um, this new hardened clay. I'm not a huge fan of it. It doesn't seem that cool to me, but lots of people are doing it, so cool for them, I guess. Team City, Quackville, wow. I've been, I've been, I don't really go here in a while. I usually go to cities, I usually stay at my own place. Looks like they put these up. Hmm. So this is this area. Key Town is one of our bigger towns. If you guys ever want to go to build at a town that has lots of people, it's most people aren't like the best builders out there. If you want to find a spot with good builders, you just have to look around because all, all the good builders try to stay away from everyone else because they don't want to be griefed. Like me, I am 70,000 blocks away from spawn. Took almost a week to just travel there by boat. Only crossed land twice. Once was the first Mushroom Island, only a couple thousand away from spawn. It was already claimed. And then a big, big land mass that was only a thousand or two thousand wide, but most of it was just through a boat. I mainly just went straight, put a book on my W, and then just let it go forward for a long time until it hit land or something would happen. And yeah, I just stayed right along. It was like almost zero in 70,000, just a little bit off because Lucian Island's over to the side. So since this is loading, we're going to go head back to my base and I'll finish up the episode and go see Daisuke over there. Just type in home. We still have three homes. I only have two set at the moment. I have also have a stronghold. I'll just call it strong, but... I have a nice stronghold. It's been the world guard, so I can make a mess of it because I'm a mod and I have access to the world guard area. But yeah, here it is again. Back at the base. Wish it would load in faster. Um... Where's he at? There's Daisuke. He's building stalactites right now. He's doing something. I don't know what he's... He said he's going to do um, some stalactites down there, but... Or stalagmites. Stalagmites from the ground. Stalactites from the ceiling. Yeah, there it is. That looks pretty cool. Looks nice. I do like that. Let's make sure we can bring this thing down all the way to the level. And I'm not sure what this ground's going to be. I think we'll put all smooth stone and put some random glowstone down there. So I'm going to talk to him about that. And I'm going to finish up the episode. So thanks again guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.